Zero FXB, welcome to my channel. Take a look here. So where did it all start? It started off with the UV 5R, which we still have now, and I still love my one. This one's actually only a few months old, and it's just this. This was the beginning, really, of 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 ham operators, shortwave listeners, hobby radio enthusiasts being able to access many many bands inexpensively, and you can still get these for under. Twenty pound. Then came along the Kushan K5. Uh, when when it first came out, in my opinion, it was a nice radio, but wasn't really talked about very much until people started added adding firmware that allowed you to receive, and I, I well I'll say TX in exclamation marks, USB twenty seven twenty eight megahertz. That was when everyone started talking about it, and start and then the then the price dropped drastically from. 30 to 35 pound to 15 pound and less and then everyone started buying these like hotcakes for christmas 2023 and so we've got some different styles here pretty much except for the bowfung we'll put the bowfung there for now except for the bowfung they're pretty much the same radio all of these devices I'm trying to keep a good focus here Apart from the fact that people have been making firmware, the one I'm using is Exuma. The reason I like using the Exuma 21 version at the moment is because it's really easy to upgrade. You just use the browser. So what do I mean by that? Well, you just click the link that Exuma provides. It looks like this. And thank you very, very much to Exuma and Fadji for doing all this work because it has literally changed ham radio. You get this window, then you add your Retivis cable, you know, this, this style cable. Plug it into the side here. Firmware mode, you can actually do it with one hand, I think. You just turn the radio off. Off there, turn it on and look, you're in firmware mode, cable connected. Then you just click, flash with firmware, it, it, it automatically finds your comm connection via the USB and then away you go. And you know, I've just tested, I've just literally been testing one now, I've just posted the video on it. They work on air band, marine band, ham bands, USB 27, 28 megs, AM, FM, broadcast radio, built-in torch. It's a nice design, you know. So to me, it's a no-brainer. So I wonder which one you've got, which one you like. I've got a bright orange one somewhere in a box. So I need to dig out. You can use the the cradle charger, which is pretty much how I, I always use the cradle charger or use the, the USB connections, if you like, on the Quashangs. I still rate the, the Bofung. I still think there's a place for Bofung. But when they say, you know, I've heard the term quite a few times over the last year, Bofung killers. And I, and I, know, I know it's quite an extreme way of saying it, but I think they're probably right in, in this case. So which one do you prefer? Yellow, blue, white? And this one's a white screen. Uh, there will be because these are so popular they're going to start making these in all color screens and cases and if i'm pretty sure that someone will use the same hardware but change it to a full color screen that's bound to happen i can't see it happening on these screens because they're lcd type screens you can have a, a boot up picture on this but it won't be a, a photograph it'll just be a, the lcd I think that's going to happen. Sorry that, that it's not very clear, but that's, that's the way it is when you're filming these radios. They're not the clearest radio to film. But thank you very much. Thanks for watching my YouTube channel. Please like and subscribe to 73.